Now there should be audio. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. You decide. Brian Brushwood, Justin Robert Young, fake and gay. You. <laughs> All right, so we should have audio now. Uh, are you receiving video from me, Justin? Yeah, but it's frozen. Okay, there we go. Now it should be going. Now we're now we're kicking. Oh, frozen. Wait, are we? Is Where? it fr frozen? Yes, no. Uh, Here, let me stop and restart the video. And then, yeah, it should be going now. Because you know what that means. It's time for... You decide. Wait, wait, wait. Let me start it from the beginning. Go. Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young are fake and gay in the morning. Brian, <laughs> Brian Brushwood. I can't play the individual track. I can't go back to the beginning. But wake up and throw. <laughs> it's fake and gay in the morning. There we go. All right, so you're receiving video. Everything's working, Justin. Yeah, I feel like we should have uh, we should have music beds. That's like what morning shows do, right? Yeah, they, sure, sure. Like we gotta constantly be fa fading in on stuff. Uh, yeah. So just just like throw just any like fucking techno or some shit like into the mix. Uh, woo! Fake again in the morning. Six minutes after the hour, sitting here with Justin Robert Young is Brian Brushwood. What's going on, Justin? Brian, uh, I'll tell you what, we're here opening yet another day. That's what we do here at Fake Gay in the Morning. We open your day up like a coconut. Oh, my God, man. Open up like coconut in your butt, am I right? <laughs> Imagine like I'm the, uh, the handsome native boy shimmying up the tree. Rubbing uh, coconut oil. Your coconut and then cutting it open with a, with a rusty knife that used to be used to slaughter... Uh, Travelers. Yeah, I guess uh, I forgot to I forgot to buy beer. Did you buy beer? No. I and if I did, I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning is early. Uh, yes, it is. So, uh, hey man. Oh, uh, I listened to those new. Uh, <laughs> I listened to the new uh, Captain Morgan tracks. Yes. Let me, uh, uh, let me, for, let me. for those of you who don't know, the only reason why we are doing this is because uh, we are promoting Night Attack 2, Enjoy the Garden, releasing this Saturday, April 20th, 420, for those Man, somebody, I want, I want our, out there. I want our smoking fans to give us like a report of how I it is. I feel like we're, it, it, the more I think about it, the more I think that if, if I were a fan of our show at the point in my life where I were a regular pot smoker, uh, it would be a great treat to like basically sit down. It would be like getting high with me and you. It's the closest thing you're probably going to get to getting high with us with in person me and and you. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and I'll tell you. <laughs> and if, although, if there's ever a moment that you feel like you should chime in on the conversation, that's probably your hint that uh, that maybe you've had too much to smoke. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, but I feel like power right through. Keep talking to us. <laughs> maybe you're, maybe you're gonna figure it out. Allow us allow us to apologize for uh, for being so rude and talking over you though. Hey, we're joined, joined as always by the Invisible Wife. What's going on, Bonnie? Hi, everybody. It's Bacon Gay in the Morning. It is. <laughs> I'm sorry. What I meant was... Wake up and throw. It's Bacon Gay in the Morning. <laughs> there we go. I'll tell you what. I hope... That, I mean, that, that the morning stream, you know, that other morning oh, stream. Oh, dude. I'll tell you what. How long have we been having this prank war between the two of us? The morning oh, stream. No, it's just, uh, check the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, look at the latest Arbitron numbers. Uh, yeah, yeah man. Dude, go ahead and check the numbers. It's all I'm gonna say. They got their numerals for a reason. They got decimal points. They got. They, uh, I'll tell you what, man. They may be the morning stream. We got the morning cream. You know, which I know, mean, they talk about a bunch of silly stuff like World of Warcraft and and movies. You want to know what we talk about? The real stuff. Yeah, we talk right? about real shit we'll on this show. Break down this story for you guys. What's that? Islamabad, Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, what's up? You ever been to Islamabad, Brian, Bonnie? Either no, you? no, that's no. that's the capital of. Uh, if I'm very... not mistaken, that's the capital of Pakistan. Brian right? Brushwood and Justin Robert Young are fake and gay in the morning. <laughs> right. Uh, how about this one? Day of high drama. Former Pakistani <laughs> military ruler Pervez Musharraf fled from the, Isba- the Islamabad High Court on Thursday after he was had been ordered his arrest in 2007 case that remained closed in closet in his farmhouse with police blocking access to it. Yeah, right. Am I right? I mean, listen, this dude's locked in. He's locked in a Pakistani farmhouse. I'm trying to find the link to uh, what's the easiest way for me to find those Captain Morgan tracks. Man, you are the worst at morning show banter. I know. What is that? Sorry. I, I, is that our is that our thing? We're gonna do the whole morning show thing. Yes. I all think right. That was the whole thing. All right. All right. All right. Let me actually get a soda. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. You're the worst. You I I am, dude. You know, I I was listening to our local radio, and I was like, man, fake and gay is so much better because like. <laughs> But now I'm starting to question that. Uh, you, as well you should. Because I'll but, bet uh, you that host doesn't say, hey, can somebody EQ my levels real quick? <laughs> and the a hilarious news banter. And then doesn't say, all right, fine, I'm getting a soda. And then just stops talking and leaves. No. Uh, well, okay, so I... But what, what, what blew me away <laughs> is, like, they, they had introduced, like, I know they sat around in a meeting, and they're like, we got to we gotta tap into the social... social media stuff now what how can we do that how can we do that and they go and then somebody goes i know we can look at the twitter feed and talk about it in the morning so for like 20 oh is that minutes, what they do they for just 20 read? minutes this guy goes uh wait i'm i'm checking the twitter feed uh uh and i'm like you're saying uh on the radio you can't do that and especially when we and that's then he the just, toughest thing that's why and then he just checks out for like Minute, you know, moments at a time, which you dead air on the radio is so bad. <laughs> yeah, so, I'm like, you can't. You you've got to you've got to preload all these things. Did you watch you know? <laughs> Justin? Did you watch that video of the plant explosion? No, that's like fair. That's what Waco, north yeah, of uh, Waco. Well, it's west. Yeah, it's it's which is just slightly west of of Waco. Which I always that name always amused me because I pictured somebody wanting to head out west, getting halfway across the country, and just saying. Fuck it. This is it. We're here. West. <laughs> this, yes. Oh, this. yeah. Like, 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 he was like, like a semantic argument. Like, so, like, you know, like, it was in, like, the guy's will. Like, you need to resettle the family West. Yeah. And he's yes. like, all right. We're like, fine. Here we are. It's outside of town. It's yes. West now. LOL. Up yours, Grandpa. Give me the money. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm I'm totally ignorant. You know, I. Bonnie got pissed at me because I didn't call her to tell her because, first of all, this I've, is. I've stopped watching news because like it's like, a conscious decision. Like she ain't she ain't gonna do news no more. Well, it's just like I, I'll watch ten minutes. You know, like ten minutes, and then I feel like I've gotten all the story because they just repeat, and then the rest is conjecture. So I try to. I'm like hopeful that I get at least one fact during that. 10 one. Minutes, oh no, no, good luck. Know. Well, you know that's that's what they that's what. Nassim Tlaib talks about. We talked about this last night, didn't we? That uh, uh, the uh, that he he feels like by not watching or reading the newspaper ever, he can read actual books and do important thinking. Yeah. Well, uh, and then so I'm at the gym and I start crying because I see the Boston Marathon thing. <laughs> oh. I'm just oh. like, I would have would have liked to have uh, had a heads up before I, w- I saw that in public. You know, it was. Well, I mean, I, I think well, number one, I don't think no matter where. I mean, I guess like you could prefer to see it in private, but it's not like it would well, have yeah. not made you cry. Yeah, you know? no, that's fine. But it was just kind of an awkward moment because I was way late to the party for one. I'm mean, like, what's going on? But no, like, all right, so here's here's the thing. So everybody um, yesterday tell freaks their things. freaks their balls out. Their balls get so freaked out that they are just screaming <laughs> and yelling in everybody's pants. What if you don't have because, balls? Because I don't have balls. Do my ovaries well, get freaked out? Or no, it actually, <laughs> your labes, your my labes, labes, your labes. My fall labes apart. are. All right, I gotta Abe's I gotta labes. do something about that barking dog. Though. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck here. Sorry. So Bonnie, yes. check this out. Okay. As we've been abandoned by the host of the show, the first built host of the show so far. He's got to go get the soda. He's got to get a soda. 
Kinda. Stopped a bit in motion to ask whether or not he can find a link. Uh -huh. Has demanded a soda <laughs> and has now left to go play with a dog. <laughs> right. I, I think uh, two of those things are going to be combined. So. <laughs> yes, exactly. Here's the deal. So everybody freaks out. You hear about the CNN thing yesterday? Yes, like they're all saying, hey, false report. Actually, I had to contact Rabid Badger about that because he, he was like, what? And then I was like, what? And finally got the so, facts. <laughs> He, uh, John King is the host on CNN at the time, and he goes ahead and says that there has been, there been an arrest. Sources are telling CNN there's been an arrest in the Boston bombing case, mm -hmm. and it's a dark-skinned male, oh. but he doesn't want to say more than that mm -hmm. because it's a sensitive issue. Oh, okay. Uh, which, all right. That him handling it that way, if it's true, <laughs> is a little odd. Turns out, not true at all. Right. Uh, the, the Boston police has not made an arrest. And the FBI goes so far as to release a statement, a blanket statement, saying, no one's been arrested. This is a very ongoing case. Please stop reporting things that aren't true. Yes. <laughs> we're wow. To catch, wow. We're trying to catch the bomber. Now, <laughs> immediately, you are to think, well, CNN's the worst. They are terrible. 24-hour news is awful. To which I would say, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you're like, so? You got a problem with that? <laughs> um, but at the same time, how weird is it that they were probably wrong on that for like what ten minutes, maybe? Yeah, you know. Oh, really? I got the well, impression then, that well, was all well, day. They were reporting. well. Certainly, yeah. the tweets were all day. Like oh. just everybody helping a CNN out with their with their clever. Uh, this is why you fail. This is why your <laughs> ratings suck. You're you're just terrible at everything. You and like and and it's I I don't think that that's wrong necessarily. Because, like, really what we saw forever was a bunch of people complaining about, oh, it's, it's rush to first, rush to first, rush to first. It's ruining news because mm -hmm. now it's just who can say it first, not who can say it right. Well, I think we've reached the end of that just say it first thing when CNN says something first and it's wrong yeah. and they just get absolutely destroyed uniformly all over the internet. Right. Well, I, I think also, uh, to be honest, <clears throat> it's it's interesting that all the hate came from the internet crowd, which you would think if anybody is savvy to the nature of an evolving story, if anybody, you know, in a world where something can blow up on Reddit, you know, you got your Coney 2012, and then day later, you got your response video explaining, you know, why all the, all the things that Actually, are wrong about Cody it. Actually, Cody was a birthday clown. <laughs> He's not an African dictator, and this is all fancy. Dude, take a look at this explosion. That I don't, you, you said you had not seen it? I have not seen the video, but hold on. Before we get into it, I just want to let everybody know that I-95 is currently clear, as is the turnpike. Please make sure that you uh, take care when approaching the Ives Dairy Interchange in Miami Gardens. Slow down Brushwood, there. Justin Robert Young, fake and gay. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> <clears throat> Brian Brushwood, ah, Justin Robert stop, Young. Stop! Stop! I wish I, I wish I could play the individual. Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young are fake and gay in the morning. There. Brian Brushwood. No, stop! Stop! It always keeps playing. I don't know how to stop any of that shit. Uh, all right, so take a look at this explosion right here. What is this? Boom! <gasps> oh, good lord! Oh. Right? Is that amazing? So now this was a fertilizer plant that was right? on fire. Oh wow! And then it and then. So <clears throat> you have all these, these emergency response. Did any of the firemen or police get injured or? Uh yeah, a lot of people died. Look at oh, that! Oh god! That is the biggest explosion. I I mean because this is clearly from like three uh, like half a mile away, like three hundred yeah. yards or some shit, and then uh, just the size of oh. the entire thing. Oh, man. All right. So, like, at, is there a point where that thing lights on fire and everyone's like, all right, 
we're totally fucked. Yeah, like, like we need to get the fuck out of here immediately well, because apparently this is a fertilizer plant. Well, here, I mean, you know, we can all say that like fertilizer plant explodes. Like, like we we're all dumb idiots who know that fertilizer somehow is used in bombs, right. and I believe it's the the, the nitrogen. Uh, well, okay, but I mean, I just mean like you know, if you work, god damn, that's if, so if, big and so far. Like, if you work in any kind of plant that has any kind of hazardous material. Like, you are drilled up and down on how that shit can go wrong, right? Yes. Like, so I would assume that, like, at a fertilizer plant, like any other kind of plant that has the, the capability to do stuff like that, that you would, like, that is, like, a, a ton of your day is, like, hey, by the way, if something goes crazy, do this. If right. something goes really crazy, like, leave immediately. Right. Uh, all right, here, take a look at this. Here's a slow motion version of it. So, you just got fire. Oh, I guess somebody did somebody, somebody was taking a, uh, a vertical, <laughs> a portrait oh. thing. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, maybe not the time to criticize him, but also, <laughs> fuck, 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 come on, asshole. Come on, right? What's with like, this vertical video on this disaster? Fuck it up, dickhead. <laughs> oh, hey person out there i can uh i can so look, i mean even mistake. then you're just wow wow so uh i guess i guess according to uh correspondent nsfw ben <laughs> we, we, uh, uh, they apparently on the scene were saying hey get it get the hell out of here get the hell out of here and uh and then i guess this is man this is a massive slow motion I guess uh, we're about to we're about to hit it. It's amazing to me that we live in a culture where whenever anything happens anywhere, we just expect to see video. Yeah. And and here that's the one but thing. But would you say that's a wrong expectation? No, no, no. It's an accurate expectation, but it's one of the it's man, this is this is some uh, uh I'm going to say this and probably regret it later. But I am surprised. But I made nervous around Chinese. <laughs> I am surprised that the Boston bomber did not take into account the press release like nature of disaster reporting today and do something to ensure that good video would be there. Like, that's what'll be the next phase when somebody does something like this because terrorism is as, as horrific and terrible and bad as it is, it's also. A press statement release. Well, I mean, you know, the, you know, the problem is, is that it's hard to get somebody to complete a terrorist attack. It's easy to get people to agree with a terrorist attack, uh, and not to say that you know it's easy to get everybody, but it's easy to get some people to get somebody to agree that this cause is righteous. It's sometimes that's there we go. There now we're done with that. Let's get back to the funny. You know, it's sometimes easy to to figure out like, oh, okay, well, let's move them into position. It's the hardest possible thing to get them to actually do it. You know, yeah. so it's like at, at the point where you're you're asking them to just pull off this crazy caper that you've laid out for them successfully. I, just for the it's record, a little bit did, too did, much to be like, uh, hey, by the way, did you set the drop cams? <laughs> Right. Well, uh, yes. Like all right, Ahmed look. or Steve or Lau or wherever, since we're all terrified about what race this Boston bomber is going to be. <laughs> Just say Lau. Yeah. Is that is that the is that one of nice these? Nice try, Lau. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, that's uh, from Indiana. Jones. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Hello, Brian. It's me, your old pal, Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan, you're not a person. You're just a spiced rum. If I was just a spiced rum, then what? Fuck that girl in 1440. <laughs> 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 Name's Captain Morgan. You're, you're just a bottle her. of rum. I'm not. I I went to pirate school. <laughs> and what did you learn there? I learned how to be a pirate. I learned how to sail a boat. I learned how to tie a crevasse. I learned how to punch an old lady. Did you just say tie a crevasse? Do you, you're obviously not familiar with the nautical terms of pirates. I'm Captain Morgan. 
Fuck you. Your mom's a real captain of my dick. Do you have any questions for your captain? Ask him. I'm here for you, Brian. <laughs> Sometimes when what? you're sleeping, I like to caress your jawline. You like to <laughs> caress I like to caress your... I don't like the tone out of your filth hole. I like to rub your face sometimes, and I like to imagine what would happen if I rolled a tiny pile of dirt down <laughs> it. Captain Morgan. I fucked a girl in 1442. God damn it. You beat me to it. Are people with thing at work? Me, Captain Morgan, after all. Cap- Captain Morgan? Yeah. Wow, you, I, I didn't know you could talk. You're a bottle of rum. I'm not. I'm a, cap- I'm a seafaring captain. I've been on the high seas for many of years. How can you prove such a thing? I like to call it foam capping. Foam, <laughs> foam capping? That sounds That's like a dirty... That's when you jerk off into the ocean. You say, oh, don't worry, uh, crew. I'm going to foam cap it real quick. Is that a real thing? Uh, when you're riding with the captain, it is. <laughs> Real as rain. What would you call it when you just, like, dropped a deuce on the side Home of the ship? Home cap in the morning, sailors at warning. <laughs> Home <laughs> cap at night. All right, I just... I just... <laughs> Wait, okay, keep this, going. That, that 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 bit's only got I, a few more seconds. I'm actually gonna rewind it because I just tweeted out like uh, like just listening to this shit is so fucking good, man. And I love the idea of of a totally filthy morning show. I mean, I guess that's what you know Howard Stern was trading on. Uh, but but like, like, I wonder if you could be like really hard hardcore, like completely inappropriate. Like if one other person hears you listening to it, you're horrified at all times. <laughs> All right, here we go. I, I just tweeted out that we're live, so such a thing. I like to call it foam capping. <laughs> foam? What is foam capping? That sounds That's like a dirty. That's when you jerk off into the ocean. You say, "Oh, don't worry, uh, crew. I'm gonna foam cap it real quick." <laughs> is that a real thing? Uh, when you're riding with the captain, it is. <laughs> real as rain. What would you call it when you just like dropped a deuce on the side Home of the ship? Foam cap in the morning, sailors at warning. Okay, okay, Foam but... cap at night, sailors delight. <laughs> yes, yeah, but what if you just had to like drop a deuce off the side of a boat? What's that called? That's called the old log flume. <laughs> the log flume, because yeah. of the big splash at the bottom, right? No, because you're <laughs> pooping into the ocean and it looks like wood. Come out of your ass. Would you would you ever get one? I like to call my ass the mill. <laughs> hey, and, and, and the logs that come out. Yeah. And I like to call my bowels the rainforest. Uh, why would that be? Because sometimes I poop toucans. <laughs> one time I shit a full minor bird into the Indian Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Captain Mort, you're not a real captain. You're a bottle of rum. I'm not. I'm not a bottle of rum. Why would you say that? What? Why are you not a bottle of rum? Because it would a bottle of rum uh, sail the seven seas. <laughs> no, but a. Master. I have. <laughs> you have not. You didn't exist. Have you ever pulled into the port of Tortuga? No. I mean, wait, is that like an anal sex thing? No. Oh, well then no? It's a vaginal sex thing. <laughs> okay, well then yes. What happens is when you do and you pull into the port of Tortuga, you um, insert... A turtle? No. <laughs> what? Maybe. <laughs> tortuga means turtle, doesn't no, it? No, it means your penis. <laughs> oh. Is that what you call your penis, No, Cap? you do. And then uh, you just you uh, take the lady... <laughs> and you take her face in both your hands <laughs> and you Gently. bring her her nose to your mouth yes. and you whisper softly in her nostril Tortuga <laughs> And that's pulling into the port of Tortuga. <laughs> I'm here for you, Brian. <laughs> have you ever done that? I will do it. I tonight. have <laughs> I'm sure you have. A lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's mostly how I have sex. You're amazing that way. I wish I was like you. One time I had a boat. I just wanted to let you know that. I thought it was germane to the conversation. He just wanted to tell you. 
had a poach. I did. Your name is Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the need to explain to me that one time you had a boat. I do. Well, it's a bit of a status symbol amongst all the other pirates. <laughs> Not anymore. Nowadays, it just makes you kind of a douchebag. No, I mean, <laughs> so because there's some pirates, we call them landies. <laughs> Landies. What yeah. Would you, okay, so when you run across a Landy, what uh -huh. would you say to him? Hey, Landy, <laughs> why don't you go fuck a dog that lives on the land? <laughs> As opposed to all the other awesome captains who are fucking dogs on boats. <laughs> okay, and so... Landy, Landy, stupid little Landy. Oh. That's what I say to him. <coughs> You're kind of an asshole, Captain. I, I, I listen. I've got issues. <laughs> <laughs> buddy, <laughs> buddy, were you were you getting like like defensive for the Landys just then, <laughs> like yeah. like as he was mocking I'm the like, ladies? You know, I have kids, and I just don't tolerate bullying. Oh, and, you, yeah. you think he's yeah. a bully? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> listen, he's got issues. He's, he's got he's, issues. He really admits Captain Morgan's got some things to work. Yeah. I thought it was Jermaine in the conversation. Wait, is this the one where it says not? That's the old pirate trick? That's the first one. So basically, all right, everybody, what you just listened to is the second of the Rolling with the Captain Chronicles. Uh, that's uh, they're going out to everybody who's on the mailing list, and we'll, we'll tweet them out too, but the first sure. people who are going to get them. Uh, they're going to be unlisted, so... Uh, NSFWshow.com slash album. Uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and sign up for that. That went out last night, and then uh, there's two more that have to come out. And I think the funniest Captain Morgan stuff has has yet to has yet to come out. Yeah. But, hey, Brian. Uh, I, I, we What's went up? a solid hour. There was a solid hour of Captain Morgan It did Morgan not feel stuff. like an hour. And first of all, like it should be made clear <clears throat> that this was what at like 1 a.m after we I were think it was the movie draft yes yeah and and we had been drinking and then we're like and then justin was like let's just go record something i was like you think that's a good idea he's like nope because well, here's normally what happens is i come over to brian's place and i'm in austin and by the way, good chance of going back to Austin. Oh, great. Yeah, oh, look, Chinbeard in the chat. You get you lads are competing with the morning stream. More like oh. the morning cream puffs, right? I mean, exactly. this is more all, like all these all these they call them tad poolers over at the competition. Yeah. And it's like it drives me Check nuts to come numbers, over. Bro. This is our house, man. Look, it's Just it's, wake up and roll. It's fake and gay in the morning. And I'll tell you, they're always they're always messing with us and it drives me nuts. It's uh, more like the morning, uh, how many times does Spock clip his toenails in <laughs> season four of the original series stream? Wah. More like the boring stream, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> we should oh. prank call them. <laughs> we should prank call them, but it just, it's just going to be us talking. <laughs> well, well <laughs> Joe, mama, you just got pranked. By the pranked. way, uh, uh, Adam's... 359 says 12 times. <laughs> Did Spock trip his nose? Oh, because he knows, because he has a, he has the, the extra toe on each side. Uh, so, all right, here, real quick, nsmwshow.com slash album. That's where you're going to be able to sign up for the, uh, the, the newsletter and where you're going to be able to uh, buy the album on Saturday. <laughs> and, uh, again, reminder to everybody, it's going to be iTunes first on Saturday. We're trying to blow iTunes, up the iTunes, iTunes, iTunes. Uh, yeah, we took a look. Uh, we, we have set our targeting lasers on iTunes. We're going to, uh, man, I just realized some people are tuning in and they think that we actually do a morning show and they think that we actually have a rivalry with the morning stream. And Tensor Guy points out, hey, uh, last time you guys played this game, this weekend fun got canceled. So it's like, oh, I, I, no. <laughs> I don't want to cancel the movie. We're not going to do fuck you, you're retarded with the full brass <laughs> band again. You've never told that story in public before. Let's tell that right now. <laughs> you, uh, the closest you got was on the Between the Sheets episode. You said, do you want to tell the uh, F you, you're our arted thing? And, and oh, I was really? like, no, no, I do not. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I think it was just more of a conversation. It was just more of like us kind of qualifying what happened with we, this week in fun, where like we had had like an agreement with Martin Sargent 
that we were going and to go Sarah Lane. Like, 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 yeah. I mean, it was Martin who started like, oh, it'd be hilarious if we had a big feud. Let's do that. Let's just do a big feud. Yeah. And so we, we had an episode <laughs> right before we came on, I think twit. I think it was our last BB live show that we were just like mad, crazy shit talking like this week in fun. And then like, they came back the next this week in fun. And they're like, Oh, look at boy wizard Brian Brushwood and his lackey are coming on Twitter or whatever. But it was like one or two comments. And then we're like, all right, they're playing along. And we're like, the next episode, like, both just barrels. Thunder. Like, like, like we, had, we had all the photoshops and just fucking just destroying them. We're like, oh, it's on now. Eat shit, motherfuckers. And as, as you described it, Justin, it was like we promoted a, a, a you know wrestling match and then over – the hill you yeah, hear it was, it, was like, it was like a rival high school like yeah. we had gathered we let out school early like everybody's in matching colors we've got banners and signs and everything we've got the the high school marching band and it's not even like a regular high school it's one of the like like, like the black college high school bands yeah, where it's, like it's all the, drums yeah they're all like like the dr- crazy but everyone drums else is doing like doing really like, awesome choreography you know spin around we're flinging our saxophones in the air and then yeah. we just grab them just like, in time to go the whole know, thing is just like Fuck you, you're retarded. And then, <laughs> and then we show up, and then we just, and then, then, then Sarah and Martin just break down crying and turn around and walk home. Like that's 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 what it felt like. Is we yeah. came back and we're like, oh, like we, we, didn't. we just we crest over the hill, expecting to see their revelry match ours, so it can just be like a fun back and forth. And instead, yeah. It's Martin and Sarah weeping over the open grave of This Week in Fun <laughs> as they are just then laying in the coffin. Uh, dude, those those losers over at the Boring Stream, the Boring Cream. Check are, the numbers, bro. I'm t- <laughs> talking about prank calling us. So, what? you know what? I'll just say bring it. It's NSFW show on Skype. I just opened it up for you. <laughs> so there's that. I'll tell you what. Uh... Maybe they maybe they would in, enjoy an interview with Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. Yeah, what's up? Uh, do you remember when we were on vacation with the family at the island and you we pulled over so you could get a picture with Captain Morgan? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was no, 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 no. Like I was just I was going in to get booze. And it's like, let's see. Oh, uh, we're, get, we're we're on vacation. We got the family and the kids. Uh, let me. I got. Um, I got to uh, get a little bit of rum. <laughs> no, you. you, no, no, no. you okay. weren't gonna get rum. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I was. I was getting. I was getting some hard liquor for for the party because we were gonna hook up with Brady and crew. And I just turned around the corner, and there is an actual Captain Morgan. And he's and he's and he does. He's like, Ahoy! I'm Captain <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> And so I, would you like a little bit of my nectar for your family vacation? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, no, no, no. The best part was, he, he's, I'm like, dude, this is great that you're doing this. This I is amazing. I had a family once. And so, and, and, <laughs> and so, and so, like, I'm thinking, like, look, I've done gigs where I'm a dude dressed up in a costume, and I'm like, let me just make it easy for this guy. Right. So I'm like, yeah, you're awesome. And I was like, hey, can I get a picture? He's like, yeah. And then he's like, hey, do this with your foot. And he did the, the raising the foot thing or whatever. And I'm like, that was awesome. And then, uh, and then I reach over and I get Bacardi rum. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy goes, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so evil. I, I was just like, yeah. I was like, I'll get yours too. Did you? No. <laughs> well, you're a liar then, Brian. <laughs> I remember that. I was with you and I thought we had made a connection. <laughs> That's not true, Captain Morgan. You're just no. a bottle of rum. <laughs> I've, I've, I've dreamt of you ever since. I don't know, but oh. I saw that the maids had thrown that uh, bottle away. <laughs> so, oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking oh, of maids, Jesus, Captain. Oh, dude. I already. I... We we have our story for Night Attack Three. I already that told. We... I oh, told. You did? I told Justin. I could... <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to talk about this now, Justin? <laughs> we can drop it now if you want. It's a no, pretty I'm... funny story. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I feel. 
like uh, I feel like I can't. No, uh, we don't need to talk about it. I, I think, think uh, we do. <laughs> think we need to talk about it before uh, seven fifty, the seven fifty hour. On uh, <laughs> is, is it seven fifty in the morning? I'll fake a gay in the morning. Uh, yeah, absolutely. By the way, Brian Brushwood and Justin that, Robert uh, Young are fake and gay in the morning. <laughs> Brian Brushwood, oh, sorry, Justin Oops. Robert Young, Stop fake playing. and gay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 72 degrees feels like 72 in Indianapolis. We're going to get up to 77 tonight. 45 degrees, strong storm and winds in the downtown area. Oh, fake and gay in the morning. At least you're not listening to that other show. Hey, so let's talk about... Um, Losing maids. maids. You ever lose maids? <laughs> I've never had a maid in my life. I've, I've benefited from the the uh, the work of maids paid for by others. Notably, you guys used to have maids. <laughs> we did. Yeah. We'd, we'd have them like I once every other them. week. I loved them. They were they fluffed pillows. They set everything that my children did wrong right, and it was like yeah, they were the best maid. Like they, they had. Like they would go back and change answers in Penny's homework. Yes, it was amazing. Dude, no. they had, they had, uh, like Catholic guilt level of maid cleaning. Oh like, yes, it was. Like definitely, it was, there's heavy on the Catholicism with these maids. And right. I mean, like, we'll, like we'll seriously, like it was that sinful. Topic later. It was sinful. I was yeah. gonna say, funny you should mention. Yeah. Catholic values, funny. So uh, yeah, like my favorite thing. Was they go and they dust all, you know, they dust everything every time, and then they'd set the blinds just so the light would filter in across across the house wow. and make everything look really beautiful. It was just nice. And we had them forever, and we all lived happily ever after. No, that's oh. not what happened. No, that's what not happened? what happened. What, what happened? happened is one time I said, "Hey, we need you guys um, on this day," and they said, "Okay," and, they, and then they called and they said. We can't make that day. I said, I have a house full of people. I just finished picking lice out of my kids' hair. I need to have you guys come and clean our house. Yeah. This was, and, and so, first of all, yeah. it should be said, this is in the middle of South by So Wasted last no. year. Yeah, this is right before. Right before is when all the... Okay. Well, when I'm, uh, the time I'm talking about. And then they say, well, we can come then. I said, we might, we're going to have some guests here, but, you know, I oh, need Oh, so you it. even told them. You yeah. were I told him, I was like, we're going to have some people here on that day, but I need you to clean because I've been busy picking lice, so you need to do your job. So, you know. Anyway, so I said, yes, definitely come, but be aware there's going to be people here. Right. Now, now, meanwhile, just to give everybody a sense of what it's like to be in the, the Brushwood compound <laughs> during South by Southwest, it is, it is a lot of beer. Yep. It's a full-on frat house. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. It's a lot of dudes, uh, and at that particular time, uh, we, it was also, I mean, because I was seeing Ashley long distance. Yeah, yes. which meant you only saw her like once a month. If yeah, that. or or if that, you know, yeah. so it was it was also kind of a, a reunion point for, for me and Ashley. Oh, I know what else is Penny's birthday party, so... I also had the house destroyed from birthday party stuff, and so there were balloon animals sailing or all over the place. And balloon animals, let's call balloon them that. animals. Yes. So okay, so they show up, and I was, you know, uh, they show up, and I'm like, hey, here we go, go in. And of course, there's people everywhere. Uh, Ali Spagnola and uh, uh, Brett Rounceville are sitting there playing. You don't know Jack in the in the living room, and I'm in the office and Patrick Delahanty's walking around and uh, uh, so they, they they go to work and kind of working around all these people or whatever and then like two hours I mean, what, later like the, the video game machines like hey fucking two dogs eating balls ha ha like the answer was C <laughs> yeah <laughs> Patrick Delahanty, for this example, is just like walking around his face covered in coke. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so there we're we're going, and you know we're getting ready because we have uh, uh, maybe this was two years ago because it was I, two yeah yeah because it was uh, I also Not remember this past year but the year we before. had the because uh, I think we were getting ready for 
like the last time we did the Stubbs barbecue thing. Yes. Right? <clears throat> so yeah. it was a big deal. There was there was a lot of stuff to be thought no, out. No, 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 no. No, that would no. No, that it was, was it was the our first South by So Wasted event. That's what it was. Yeah, yes. The, yeah. the the one at the at Peckerheads, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh so at any rate, like after like two hours, I just noticed that the maids aren't around. And and I look out. I was like, that's weird. I was like, didn't I see the maids leave? And Bonnie, you know, Bonnie was out running errands, probably probably going on another beer run for us, like coming back yes. with another truckload of, of Miller Lite. Beer and pastries. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for breakfast. By the way, number one, uh, I just want to let you know what is happening. Uh, right now, there is somebody on the opposite side of my laptop who's eating her breakfast and just went wide-eyed and pointed at the laptop and said, <laughs> wait, wait, said what? Just identified what story we're telling. <laughs> <laughs> and is now shaking her head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? So, okay, so she's so like, kill it, kill it now. The, the maids, <laughs> you can't, can't take it back. Uh, so the maids <laughs> leave, and, uh, and we don't know. I mean, they just never show up again. And so, like, later that day, uh, you know, because the house is and they definitely left the check. not clean. Yeah, oh, they left. They didn't. They didn't take. The they check. didn't take the check. Right. And so I was like, "Well, this is, I was I'm gonna like, take your filthy." <laughs> 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 so, uh, so I, I say to Bonnie, I was like, uh, "Hey, the maid showed up this morning," and she's like, "Yeah." I was like, "They didn't clean anything. They just left." She's like, oh, that's really weird. And so how long was it until you did your detective work? Well, finally, yeah, when I saw the check, then I was like, oh, they didn't even take the check. Yeah. And then I was just like, what's going on? And I thought, well, maybe because all the people are here or something. I don't know. And um, anyway, so I gave him a call. And it's the daughter who speaks, speaks English. the English. Yeah. And so she says, hmm. Yeah, we. My mom got sick. Like she threw up because she saw something really gross, and so. <laughs> Wait, is that she, she said? She that. said, that. <laughs> she said that? Yeah, and in the week. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like telling a ghost story. Like she yeah. saw something so vile. <laughs> and I was like, really? I go well. She in, in like the week before she was sick, and that's why they didn't show up the week before was because she was also sick. Yeah, but she was always kind of getting sick. And, yeah, and like was the there was something to going. Just not show up. Yeah. Yeah, and so I was just like, well, is she like pregnant or something? I mean, what's going on? Because like there was, it was indicated that she was like throwing up sick the week before. Oh yeah. And then she was, and then she threw up again at our house or something. Yeah. And then I'm just like, so I hope and, she and she goes. It up. Uh no. She's oh, you, oh wait, yeah, hold on. You asked Blanca point blank. Right. Well, like, I did. Is, is your mom pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> What's with all the throwing up, bro? Well, cause like there's been this ongoing history of being ill, and then then and then I know, and then they've cited like you know stomach things twice. Yeah, sure. sure. So I'm like going, what's going? And I think she's a little old for the, you know, but you know, whatever. Like, right. I mean, she's got a twenty-year-old something daughter. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and maybe she's just, she's just keeping it going. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, and so, yeah. and so she, and, and so, what does she say to it? She says, um, she said. I can't say it. <laughs> like, you, okay, you have to. Come on. You okay. have to. This is a payoff. She said, she said she saw a dirty condom. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, my mind goes to all the balloon animal stuff. <laughs> because there was a bunch of swords, white swords, in Brian's office. From when Penny, when he tied swords for the girls, so they look and phallic also, I mean, because like, they're Brian all old. Uses condoms in his act. Yeah, know, yeah, not exactly. The realm of possibility. I mean, condoms and balloons. Or the kids got into it. Like. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking all of this, and then, and uh, then well, I realize that we have. I don't know. What do we do we, there? We have, we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, well, so at that point, you know, I'm like, got him. So many like, times, uh, Occam's razor dictates. <laughs> 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 this is and we full on. We were like, uh, it was like, it was like the two of us were hard cases. We went into the room, we shut the door, we threw the file down. We're like, we're not leaving this room until we solve this mystery. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then, and because then it, it was also indicated that they are never coming back. 
So oh, like, yeah. you know, at that point, like, oh, wait, I'm she like, said that. Yeah, our, it might have been. It was right around that time, and then they're just like, "Yeah, and we're working too hard, so we're we're gonna ditch you as a client." You know, like yeah, yeah like I'm, we're well, done with you. And- yeah, and keep in mind, <laughs> and so like, what what we suspect have here's here's our best guess is what happened. They come upstairs, yeah. to the studio, where they up uh, where they dump out three trash cans full of booze <laughs> of empties, <laughs> and so yeah. and so, just pure sin, and then they go across. They are very Catholic, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And then this, this, then they find this offense to to God's plan. Uh, right. That has <laughs> been used. So I mean, like, because theoretically, like, they don't know the story behind that. I mean, all right, here. Spoiler alert: It's me and Ashley Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Which don't uh, blame you, dude. But like, they you don't know, know the <laughs> they, they, they don't know the story behind that condom. Like me and Ashley could be married, and for some reason, I, you know, medically, you exactly, know, we have to use condoms. Yeah. We also have that. We also have a uh, other. You know, we have a married couple, so he, they don't have to like. They don't know if we've got married couples or non-married couples or whatever. Yeah, sure. We also had John and his wife there <laughs> that time. So yeah. like. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Know. So, well, regardless, none uh, of their but, business. Uh, <laughs> and what's funny is, like, I don't say anything to Justin because, like, how do you bring that up <laughs> in <laughs> casual conversation? Like, hey, man. I was actually shocked that, like, with all the other horrific shit that we talk about constantly, that that was not brought up <laughs> sooner than it was. What? Like, it, it made like a full year. Yeah. yeah. Well, mainly, mainly just because there was no way to be all like. So my wife's still complaining about how <laughs> your fucking cost us a maid. <laughs> you exactly, because you cummed our way out of a maid. <laughs> Man, they were the best, though. I mean, we have we have some continued service with another group, but they're just they don't get the corners. <laughs> you know? They don't they don't hate the the sin of the dust. Yeah, the way these other guys. Cleanly, do. they really believe cleanliness was next to oh, godliness. Man. And, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I do I do apologize uh, for that. that oh, that's was, all I uh, wanted is for you to publicly apologize for <laughs> and final, there we go. We're there. We've arrived, but <laughs> I will now take my public penny. In fact, give me their number. And I will personally apologize to them. And make a I'll tell you, I'm a Jimmy Wales this motherfucker. I'm gonna make a personal, personal appeal. appeal. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> Uh, all right, so that'll be the p- prank call coming up with the next segment. You just wake up, wake up and roll. It's fake and gay in the morning. Hey, maybe you should plug the 420 uh, thing. I was the was 420. Kind of, yeah, I was wondering. Uh, I was wondering if you guys um, make a 420 uh, uh, that's Californian when... holiday. Californian. Well, holiday. you know, it, it's it's apparently in. Colorado and Washington, where pot is like legal. Yeah. Oh, I thought. It, oh, I guess it's just the uh, uh, the the medical marijuana. And yeah, no, California. I mean, basically, if you get, you know, there's like a dude in like a tattered labs coat who's like, "Hey, man, I'm a doctor. Get a fucking card or something. I don't know." <laughs> he just hands you like wax paper with crayon on it. <laughs> it just has a picture yeah. of a pot I mean, leaf. So you can you can get it in California, but in Colorado, it's like it's moving toward like actual legalization, not like wow. medical legalization. Right. And so now for 420, I was reading a thing. And there's like this whole pop-up cottage industry of tourism. Yeah, yeah. Like, I would like 420 tourism. Like you can like fly there and it's like, hey man, like I guess they have like a version <laughs> of the cannabis cup, which happens in Amsterdam in Colorado. Wow. And like so they'll like they'll take you to there and then they'll take you to like there's like a couple hotels that are like, hey man, we allow smoking. <laughs> And we don't we don't sniff too hard with whatever yeah. it is you got in that pipe. You're oh, not, oh I'm, no, wait, Brian! <laughs> Damn it! You can't. They're not even paying us for this shit. You can't do this. What do you mean? Who's paying who for what? Uh, Captain Morgan. You you're... need to you need to knock it off with the paying for it. Players don't pay for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say we're getting. Are you saying we're getting? <laughs> say we're getting fucked. Captain Morgan don't drop the balloons for that puss. 
<laughs> well, how 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 do you go about seducing hey, a woman, uh, pimp? How how do you go That's about? That's what s- they say to me. <laughs> They should call you play a pimp, Morgan. And I say, no, I'm a captain. <laughs> yeah, it's, but, a, it's a legal license thing. Yeah, but you, you're not currently piloting a boat right now. I am. <laughs> no, you're not. You're, I'm on my mature leave. You're definitely a drawing on a bottle of rum. No, look at me. I have, I got a sword. <laughs> I, I'm dressed like M. Bison. <laughs> I'm an amazing captain. <laughs> And it's not, it is true. <laughs> all right, Captain. Yeah. In your exploits and all the ladies you have, what, what are you, what like, are you what? just like Saget? <laughs> Captain Morgan. Yeah. Uh, I've heard a lot of people use the uh, the sexual euphemism, um, giving her the Captain's hook. How does that go? <laughs> uh, oh, God. Tell you that. I need to tell you about the biggest adventure I ever went on. Oh, my God. What was it? <laughs> Uh, one time I went to a Hardee's. <laughs> <laughs> and I met a lady whose name was Jen. Jen. She was a how, how old was this lady, Jen? <laughs> dead men tell no tale. <laughs> Wait, it was a dead man? Why would you say, like, so Jen was a dead man. Uh, so you feel the need to obscure the nature of Jen's. Dead how old was no, Jen? No, that's the thing I say when I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, me me, ask me something that would make me nervous. <laughs> well, um, have you ever had sex with a dog? Dead men tell <laughs> no tales. <laughs> have you ever thought about killing the president? No. <laughs> have you ever thought of killing... <clears throat> you ever wanted to kill the Pope? No. You ever wanted to kill Justin Robert Young? No. He's a beautiful man <laughs> with lips that remind me of salamanders. <laughs> oh, hi, Brian. God damn it. Yeah. Captain. It's me, Captain Morgan. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Ah, pirate's life is a life okay. for ah, me. Ba, 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 ba. Pirate's life is a life. Number one, that's a licensed song. Number two, you're not a real pirate. Number three, you're definitely just a Robert Young holding up a bottle of rum. Not. Which one of those is not Everything true? Everything you said. Not. <laughs> not. Is That's that an old pirate's uh, trick. <laughs> well, whenever you say I say not after it, it's not true. Try it. Say something. Did you, did you ever use that? Say like something. In, <clears throat> I think you're a skullturgerous. Not. Sc- ah, say, uh, <clears throat> I Boom. think you stole my, my gold. Not. <laughs> Except, wait a minute. I did. I wanted to see. No, I not the not. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think you didn't steal my gold. <clears throat> Wait, are you in bed with my wife? No. <laughs> Hold on, that's not... You were supposed to say not. That was the bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that one struck a little too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> because seriously, I was in bed with your wife. No. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! So th- and this is all this is all the shit that we recorded, not intending to release, and this is the least funny of it as well. Well, I mean, I, it, everything's edited, so it's like it, it, we didn't record it with like the fog horns and shit like that. Like yeah. that—that's me just taking out like pieces, the bits and pieces that are really funny, and putting it in there. But there's there's some more very very funny Captain Morgan stuff, and so. We're going to get two more things of that. That'll come out for everybody on the mailing list. By the way, I had an existential crisis last night when I was like, hey, everybody, like, I sent out another mailing list thing. And then, like, I had this flash of, like, I just unironically sent out a, like, hey, subscribe to my mailing list. <laughs> <laughs> well, I noticed, like, even... Even when you sent out to, uh, you know, to, to all of our friends, including Scott Johnson of the Boring Cream. Uh, exactly. <laughs> of the Boring Zine. What are you, a uh, magazine now? Check the boring numbers, bro. <laughs> Exclusive. Spock's ears are less pointy than you think. Exactly. I touched them. Oh, here. Here's my impression of Scott Johnson on the morning stream. Remember that time on the West Wing? Because I'm watching it. I don't know if you've picked up on the fact that I'm watching the West <laughs> the Wing. The West Wing. That is such a funny one to pick. 
<laughs> but it's true. He, he, he watches? literally this week He's in West Wing. Uh, West Wing today. What? <laughs> West Why? Wing quarterly. There was, there's this scene where they're walking and having an important conversation. I don't know if you saw it. Remember when President Bartlett ate a ham? <laughs> I do, because I just watched that episode of The West Wing. <laughs> so, uh, uh, at, at any rate, even as you set that out, it was just riddled with, with like, I don't know, we've got this album. It's kind of dumb. In fact, if you hate it, then I would respect you more. Love, jo- <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Basically, that was pretty much it. Oh, my God. Hey, God, I'm going to read the actual email. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's only like like three words away from exactly what he said. <laughs> what is going on? Whoa. What was that sound? I don't know. Justin? Ah! What is happening? You've become a hateful being. Hello? Wow. I think the cyborgs have hit. Yeah, maybe maybe restart. Yeah, I'm just going to hang up. And I'll call you back. See if we can get that to work. Woo-wee. <laughs> How very unpleasant. Hello? I, I don't think you have your uh, PR40 on or something's loose. We literally are only hearing. Mm-hmm. That's why you don't mess with Scott Johnson. He was just like, boring scream. Kill you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bonnie. Yes. Brian. Thank you for joining us. Would you do that? What if this was our life? Was just getting up? Oh my god, this would be awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. You drop off the kids until Kelly. We have to watch what we say around Kelly. Then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh. Can I show off the kid? Yeah. You know, like I guess I don't know. She's sure. kind of gay. She's got hiccups. What? <clears throat> She's super cute in little jammies. Here. What's up? <laughs> what? Uh. So this is a kid. Mm-hmm. Brr, brr. She's drooling a lot. Yeah. She, uh... She's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> she just learned how to roll over, and she's like, finally. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, she is. She has gotten really big. Oh, Jackie Hearn, do you have any any updates on uh, on Animal Fairy? <laughs> I'm the baby fairy. Ooh. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. Eat my shit. That's here, I've kept baby. some over here. Give her back. <laughs> no, it's a morning show, body. This is if you have a baby, you have to make it a filthy baby. No. No, you don't. She can be the light part of the segment. So I'm at the doctor's the other day. <laughs> and he says, I'll take your temperature. And I'm like, that's cool, bro. Next thing I know, he's got a tube in my butt. I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what did, what did Hello? we talk about? Hey, buddy. You sound better now. Yeah, sorry. So I did the entire show with my internal mic. Somebody suggested that, but you sounded good enough that I didn't worry about it. But yeah, you no, sound a yeah. billion times better I was, now. I saw that just now, and I'm like, well, let me change that. And then I guess you have to like unplug and replug in the PR40 thing sometimes. Yeah, dude, you sound way better. People are saying that's how it was last night, too. Listen to that rich, velvety voice. It reminds me. The rich, me. velvety vo- voice of the doctor. Of the mm-hmm. doctor singing. He knows the the ang- he's getting the Angry Birds song down. Really? <laughs> yeah, you can kind of make it out. Like, he's, he was singing it just now. How do, how, do you, how do you teach the Angry Birds song to? Uh, you play the Angry Birds th- song next to him forever. Oh, really? All right. That's awesome. And then he just starts singing it. We tried to get him to do the Doctor Who one, but that's a little bit more complex. Woo! Yeah. Uh, so so they'll just pick up whatever they hear a bunch? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, th- there's, like, a certain time in their life when, like, I guess they're more receptive to it. But he picked right up, like, with the, uh, with the, with the Doctor Who stuff. And he is getting loud. Yeah, oh. that's cool. So uh, this is the letter Justin wrote. Uh, hello, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that? 
Brian Brushwood and myself are releasing another comedy album. It's called Night Attack to Enjoy the Garden. Like the first one, it's simply curated. It's simply curated conversations between me and Brushwood, cold and spun into a bunch of tracks. Since you guys are awesome, you can download it. Oh shoot, I may have just shown that link that I need to take down right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. Also, take down the screen grab. Uh, well, I can't. Oh, I have too many clicks to do. Blah. There we go. <laughs> Please don't. Everyone be good. Uh, Neat. No, hey, Brian, I'm going to pirate it. <laughs> Too late. It's all gone. What is it? I'm watching it all vanish. Whew, that was a close one. <laughs> Somebody. There we go. All right. <clears throat> wow, that was a full-on shot of adrenaline just then. <laughs> uh, all right. And then it says... Uh, if you hate it, that or feel free to talk about it. It will be released on 420 because people who get high as shit are a key demographic for us. If you hate it, that's totally fine. If you don't listen to it, that's totally cool too. Oh my god! Just know Justin. that we like you and wanted to share this. Thanks. P.S. Oh. The album cover is below. Oh my god! It's okay for you to be excited about things you do, you know? I, don't, I mean, I, I'm very much from the school of under-promise, over-deliver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that, if also, nobody... It's, like, I, I also, it's also from one of those things where it's like, and Brian, you get this, where it's like, you have people who are like really cool that like send you things or like fans that'll like send you stuff. Uh, yeah. And they're like, I've worked for eight years on this 30-second video. And you're like, can't bother to watch it. <laughs> Because, <laughs> uh, well, what would make it better? I mean, you think that it's more likely to watch it if if somebody's just like, yeah, I don't know, I made a video. It's 30 seconds. Well, no, I, I just think, like, I, I just wanted to make it clear that, I mean, it's an hour and a half of somebody's time. You know, they got to download it, put it on their iPod or whatever, or, like, play it from their desktop, like... It's, it's a lot. It's two hours. It's like, it's like a big commitment, right? So yeah. I just want to let them know that it wasn't like I was going to hit them back up in a week. Like, so, what'd you think, bro? What'd you think? <clears throat> like, yeah. I just wanted to make it clear, like, hey, listen, you guys are awesome. Here's the thing. If you don't like it. It's, it's like totally fine. Like, yes. Because, and that's just kind of like my, my philosophy on like all of our stuff is like, you know, I'll have like friends that'll be like, like, oh, I totally want to listen. And this was like when I used to do like only like the eye trick stuff. They'd be like, oh, I totally got to listen to your podcast. And I'm like, no, you don't. You really don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, although this, I will say, like, yeah, you totally do have to listen to it. It's, uh, it's, it, I have re-watched it, uh, or re-listened re to it, like, three full laps now. And you know, I'm just so not confident. You're not confident? I, I'm not confident like in enough life in my... Like, or in this project? No, in my relationships with my friends to expose them to NSFW. You, like, oh, this you're like a shame. Thing. It's, it's, too, it's, <laughs> too, it's too creepy. You don't want to tell anyone. It's a secret. <laughs> but maybe I like it. I like NSFW and all this stuff more because it's my little secret. You know, does that make sense? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, sure. I don't. I kind of go out of my way to not talk to my friends about an NSFW <laughs> show, but it's not because I'm not proud of it. It's just because like, again, it's like, listen, they know me. It's not like I don't talk about the things that I do yeah. a right. lot. You know, like, it's very easy for people to get into it if they follow me on social networks, for which a lot of my friends do. Um, so it's like, listen, I feel like if they're into it, they're going to be into it. If they're not, like, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to fussy up our friendship by be me being like, so, did you hear my band? We yeah. put a lot of heart into this one. Yeah. I mean, in my defense, we did put a lot of heart into it. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, we it's, put a lot of time into it. You put you know, time. And, well, no, I think y'all really were thoughtful. You're like, we want to give more on this album than we did in the first one. And I think 
as a result, the comedy's better. The <laughs> which is why we're charging so much more. Three dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent more. We're <laughs> jacking the prices. <laughs> we're jacking them right off, <laughs> and it's coming money on our face. Ah, <laughs> money on around. Our face. <laughs> 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 oh, money come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, but anyways, I would, no, I just, I guess that you know, I don't get the impression that they would enjoy the comedy. The garden. The garden. You, I don't, you don't think, think they, they would enjoy, enjoy the, the garden. garden. <laughs> enjoy the garden. Enjoy the. Garden. Now I'll tell you what. Compared to what I wrote to the fans, the fan emails are are way more positive. Like, well, oh the one, oh yeah, and actually you did. You want me to read one of those to balance the universe? I can, be careful yeah, of your you want to screen read. Grab I mean, just I'm not just like a negative Nancy on this. No, I know you're not, but it's just funny. Uh, which, by the way, we- <laughs> the feedback we have heard so far that, uh, like, my favorite, I-, I was very, very pleased with Ryan Connolly's response that he was uh, super happy, super bullish on it. He thought it was amazing. Then the next yeah. comp. Oh, that, I think that was my. That was another favorite part. Wait, hold on, uh, Veronica. There we go. Um, was was the round robin of jokes that everyone made in response to it. Like Scott Johnson said, "You had me at your ill-fitting luchador mask." <laughs> like sign unseen. <laughs> Ryan yeah. Connolly says, "Too far too excited. Listening now. Can I tweet that I've already heard it so I can sound like one of the cool kids?" And then he follows up uh, later saying, I am currently in my office laughing until I cry. This is freaking hilarious, which was awesome. And I said, tell everyone in the world if you like it. <clears throat> and for reasons that... And, and he tweeted out. He, yes. He tweeted out. Uh, and so <laughs> uh, Tom Merritt, I knew, was listening to it because he sent us that link to Competitive Solitaire. Yeah. and uh, <laughs> which, which I knew instantly what track he was on when it was coming up like... Uh, Oh yes, no, no. I now I actually get it. I actually didn't get it. No, so he was talking about the jaunty jerk. Yes, and then uh, Ali Spagnola replies with "Aves and waves, impressive." I like my racism at only the highest quality. Now and you're then, kind of bummed by that. Oh no, no, no. well, j- just because, just because. I mean, there's there's no racism. I mean, there's racists. Well, yeah. But it's a joke, right? Yes, like correct. it's a joke amongst friends, right? Uh, Andrew Main says, I look forward to listening to this. Who's stars in it? Anyone I know? <laughs> and then finally, Tom Merritt says, my wife walked in on me while Justin was talking about masturbating. <laughs> I said, honey, it's an AIFF. <laughs> what is that? That's the file That's- type <laughs> that, 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 that Allie was making fun of. And by the way, <laughs> Chad was busting my balls on that because he was like, he was like, you understand, like, all I know of AIFF is it's the highest quality you can push something out as. Yes. When you go to, like, literally the highest possible quality, it is AIFF, and you're doing it on two guys talking about jerking. <laughs> <laughs> we need to capture every nuance in that conversation. That's hilarious. <laughs> you can hear the awkwardness when the unintentional boner arrives. Uh, all right, you want to wrap this Y'all thing up? Is there anything else we got to do? Uh, no, I'll tell you what, though. I'll say this. We uh, are, like, our mailing list stuff, because, like, MailChimp gives you, like, all these details on, like, opens and clicks, clicks and everything. And yeah. Like, we, our first email, the last time I checked, was at, like, 60% open rate, um, which, like, the industry standard's, like, 18%. Wow. Wow. Like, there's uh, and cause this is not like a traditional mailing list. Like no. we don't do this. Like it's it's not like it's coming in unsolicited. People who want it, like we ask them specifically, do you want it? Because I'm asking you. Right. Um. But was, I was very heartened by that. Yeah. Uh, NSFWshow.com/slash/album is is the the right way to go. Uh, uh, Jackie Hearn, we are not going to do another live stream tonight because both of us are traveling. In fact, that's why we did it. Justin got up right and early at 7 a.m. And, uh, yeah, so here's that. So eat a yeah, billion man. dogs. This was, yeah, uh, the second, the well, one okay, that just wait, went can out, I, can I already say- at 58% open. The industry standard is 13.5. Can- We're <laughs> fucking them up. Can I say, like, yesterday, 
There are moments when I'm, I sort of get lost. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. There's moments when like I'm reliving stuff and I'll find myself mouthing the words to something and smiling or, you know, whatever. Like you just relive a moment. And I came around the corner and Bonnie was like, where are you right now? And I was just, she just totally busted me because I was in the middle of reliving that one part where... Uh, <laughs> No, don't give any spoilers. I won't You're give a spoiler. I'm not going to use the actual words, but the words are like. When Blair's on a bagel, you get. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love more black and black. Wait, is that on the one that got cut? That's no, that's the. That's in there. That's his grandmother. He goes back. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and he just oh the yeah. Oh no, racist time machine. Yeah. 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 Yes. But Brian's just he just got has this grin and he just is just I'm like where what are you thinking about? <laughs> oh. Also, I'm gonna invent pizza. <laughs> oh wow! All right, guys, uh, we love you. Um, Sorry, those uh, those other guys from that other show. I mean, look at the numbers, right? I guess it, it's to be expected. Check the numbers, bro. <laughs> they, Check the numbers. They wouldn't. Uh, I know that they count. Uh, yeah, I believe it's an international release on Saturday. Oh, what time on Saturday do we want everyone to strike? Noon? Um. Well, here, hold on. I will. I'm going to be in the air for a little bit of Saturday, mm. so hopefully we can do it at a time where I'm not. That's what I call it too. I'm going to be in the air. Hi. I could be on 420. <laughs> Mahoy, Brian. <laughs> I'll be pulling into the Kingston, Jamaica station. You know what they got there? What? What would I have? Blacks. Also, weed. Two things that Jamaica's <laughs> great at. Oh, uh, pulling into the port of Tortuga. Uh, I will be going from Chicago to San Francisco. I will land at 9.31 p.m. In the Monin. That's only in the Monin. That's only in the Monin. Um, so uh, that would be noon 30 Eastern time. All right. What do you say? You want to hit them up? Like, should we have it at the night? Or, no, I mean, no, 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 no. Like, nobody's going to be able to hold off all day. I, I think 1 o'clock Eastern. 1, 1 p.m. 1 p.m., yeah. When does it release? Will it be in the morning? What time is it? What time do they do their thing? I mean, that's only in the morning. You that, should be eating breakfast. You should be eating breakfast. Uh, all right, but the target is iTunes. The strike time will be, we'll say... 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. Eastern. Eastern. And if you want to get it beforehand. That's fine. That's fine. Just buy it again. Well, or buy it from somewhere else. Like like buy it from Amazon or wherever. And then but but that's when buy that's it, when No. Buy it on iTunes again. But yeah. iTunes is, is it's iTunes, iTunes, iTunes. Can, if no, you no, can no. buy it on iTunes four times, buy it on iTunes. I, four I don't times. think you can. I think what you buy it, it's like you already bought this. Okay. You're the one who's like Make, uh, make accounts, yeah. Accounts. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> All right. That's a good point. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. ITunes. Or if you really, really want to buy it on Amazon first and then iTunes. But whatever you do, the one o'clock purchase, make on iTunes. iTunes. Uh, because that's what we're going for. And I know, of course, every time we get the people like, iTunes it really raped everybody in the world yesterday. I will not be a party to iTunes continued rape of everybody. Hate Sorry, speech. bros. No iTunes. I understand that. All right. I'm sympathetic to the rape of iTunes of the world. <laughs> However, you're sympathetic to it. Uh, I'm not sure that's what you meant to say. I'm sympathetic to their concern. Yes. However, uh, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I just ask you to understand that this is just a surgical strike 
much like the Diamond Club was, yeah. or a chart. We are we are gunning for a chart. So just yeah. understand that you don't have to want iTunes forever, but just understand why we want iTunes on Saturday. Right. Done and done. Uh, all right, guys. I guess that's it for uh, today's episode. Of, uh, I want to know who this guy is that put this together. Eh. Boom. Wake up and roll. It's fake and gay in the morning. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Is there anything else? Yep, uh, yeah, nsowshow.com slash album. That's where all the deets are going to be. Uh, P. Delahenty is in uh, en route to California. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully he'll be able to update that page with like all the details. Oh, right on. Awesome. A 105. No, oh, that's right. He, he says 105.9 at the cat at some point. Here we go. Faking gay in the morning. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe right here. Faking gay in the morning on 105.9 The Cat. <laughs> Faking. <laughs> so good. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. So long. Set fire to the internet.